do people just drop them off here and then Monday morning they get posted onto the onto the <laughs> list because it seems like like puppy dogs, you know, where they You're just right. drop them off at the here, <laughs> take it. I don't want it anymore. But it seems like Monday mornings, uh, it seems to be an upload of cars. It's a busy day because a lot of the shippers will bring them in. Oh. Uh, a lot of people have them shipped in. We make arrangements for them if they need help having that done. And then uh, and they have them shipped to our facility here. And then mm. they just randomly show up. So right. you know, what we ask you to do is if you're interested in consigning a car, call us, reach out to us, talk to us. We'll send you the paperwork ahead of time. Send that back in and then bring the car whenever we're open. Mm-hmm. Once you've sent the paperwork in... You can bring it in basically any time because okay. it's a quick walk mm-hmm. around. Do we look at the car and bing, bang, boom, we're done. Make sure the VINs yeah. match. Yeah, make sure the VINs match, which is very important. And you should do that ahead of time. Otherwise, That's you're going to just get a phone call from us that you're not going to be happy about, mm-hmm. that your VIN doesn't match your title. And you, you think, well, that would never happen. Has any of the, our listeners ever checked their VIN against their title? No. Right. Have somebody read it out loud right. while you're holding the paper and exactly. go through it. Exactly. Because guess what? It happens. It's a good chance it's going to be wrong. There is and a if chance. it's wrong... We can help with that. Mm-hmm. It's fixable. It's, it's a fixable, fixable problem. Yep. But if you show up without doing your paperwork ahead of time, without checking your VIN, mm-hmm. and you just randomly show up with your car, you're going to throw a, a, a monkey wrench into the whole operation. So let us know ahead of time that you want to bring a car. We'll send you the paperwork. You send it back to us. Make sure you check the VIN. And then you can come in anytime you want mm-hmm. because it's 10 or 15 minutes to it walk around It takes a few minutes. The and then they're free to shop for, to fill. I always say yeah. shop, shop to fill that space to, that you're. To fill the empty, uh, gnawing uh, hole. That's right. You, you know you're going to want to fill it. Yeah. because uh, Well, it Here's depends. Sometimes you hear this comment. Oh, great. I'll get the garage back for my Escalade uh-huh. from the wife. <laughs> and then you know that that car is going to be sold come hell or high water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, sometimes. so yeah, we're, we're, we're thankful that you bring, your, bring us your, our, your cars. We just want to make sure that we have some kind of process in place ahead of time just so we know that it's coming and that we – because there's nothing worse, and we say this all the time, sitting at the little round table in our showroom trying to remember everything about your car. Mm-hmm. It's very difficult to remember all the good details. And the more you can tell us, the better we can sell it, the better we can, you know, have an opportunity to get to that price that you want. Some of the descriptions come in and just says, runs good. (laughs) Red four speed. Yeah, very (laughs) little information. So it's good to provide a little story about Mm -hmm. the car. Really, if if all you know is you bought it on so-and-so day and it was a present for somebody, just any little detail really helps the story that we post on. Grandpa used to take us to get ice cream in it. Great, yeah. You know, any stories like that or that we, uh, my father and I restored it in the garage over five years or, you know, this was my, mm-hmm. this was my Christmas gift or this was this, or we had it because we always wanted one because we grew up with one. I mean, there, there's all these stories that it's hard to think about sometimes when you're just sitting there trying to write out, uh, okay, it's, it's green and mm-hmm. it's got an automatic transmission and it's a 350 right. and I don't know if you were at home leisurely filling this out, you might say, Oh, you know what? That's right. This was this, or we did this, or we replaced the exhaust system and you know two years ago, or we did whatever. So there's all these things that are important. And save when you buy a car, save everything. Do not throw away anything, yep. either a new car or a used car or a classic car from a dealer, from an auction, from wherever. Save every piece of there's nothing that should be thrown out that's paper or written or you know, scribbled mm-hmm. or a notebook or any of that. Keep everything. Things are definitely more desirable when if, if there's been work on the car and you have the receipts mm-hmm. and you're passing that on to the next uh, owner. Sure. They really they really like that. I mean, I would. A shrug of the shoulders when when was the car repaired or fixed or the engine was rebuilt doesn't always isn't always the answer. Or what that parts I, were used yeah, in it. Yeah, and, and, you know. and who did it? Was it done right? Was it done wrong? It helps. There's a lot of things that you can't see on a car that affect value mm-hmm. of the car and you don't find out until you find out the hard way. So if you can mitigate all that by saying, hey, who did the restoration? Who did the engine rebuild? Who did this? Or where are the receipts? What kind of parts were used for it? Then if you do that, then, you know, mm-hmm. then you've got gives a, a, a potential buyer because there's nothing worse than the unknown. And we all have that. I mean, I've bought cars at auction that literally knew hardly anything about. Right, right. It seemed like a pretty good deal. It worked out okay. However, um, it would have been sure nice to have known the, the trail, the history trail of the car. And some cars have an amazing history trail. From all the way back from when they first bought it back. Oh yeah, in boxes 19- of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like almost too much. Mm-hmm. You can you can have you know all these receipts and everything and notebooks of when you filled it up with gas and when you did this and all that and it can almost be overwhelming some mm-hmm. of the amount. But most of the cars have limited amount of information. So the more that you can come up with uh, to to feed the story of the car, 
then the more opportunity we have to sell it, the more opportunity we have to get a better price for it. Uh, everybody will be happy. Yep. And and that's what our, our we're in the happy business. That's it. I mean, it really is a happy business. Isn't it? it really is. Make the, the seller and the buyer both walk away happy. If we can do that, then we've certainly done our job. And uh, I think that uh, we do that quite often. And the more information that we have, the better. Because we're brutally honest about the condition of cars. We're brutally honest about if there's a problem, if there's a knock in the rear end, if there's a brake squeal, whatever we know about. But guess what? We had it happen the other day. Car left here, ran, start, drove, got to where it was going, mm. wouldn't start. Uh, happens. It happens. They're, I, it, they're old. They're old cars and things happen. <laughs> yeah. and, and it was so frustrating because, and the good news is we'd taken a video to show mm-hmm. the buyer that, look, this thing ran and drove perfectly. Mm-hmm. We we showed it being loaded onto the truck, which is a really smart thing to do mm-hmm. uh, because you know, it, it proves that we, we're not just making it up. We didn't just push it on a trailer and say, oh, well, See we're you done. Later. See yeah, you later. Course, so. Buying and selling via consignment is safe, easy, and secure. We advertise, sell, and ship worldwide. And if you'd like to know all the advantages of selling your car through consignment, the information's available on our website, or you can talk to a classic car specialist who can answer all your questions. Plus, you can easily search our inventory online at ClassicAutoMall.com. You've been listening to the Classic Auto Mall Podcast with your host, Stuart Howden.